for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey boys, if you're interested in playing lacrosse this spring, come to an interest meeting today during iPass. Ask your iPass teacher to add you to Mr. Wright's iPass list. Come to room 404, meet our new head coach. If you are already rostered on the lacrosse team, you will already be added to my iPass list. Or send me an email to tell me that you're interested and let's get the season going. I am Mr. Hoffman. I have been an EL teacher here for over 10 years, and uh, it is a quite the pleasure to be uh, an EL teacher here at Southport. We have a very diverse group of people. I learn things about different cultures. I learn things about each of my kids, and uh, they teach me new things every day. I, I love learning about different cultures and languages. Um, I enjoy traveling if I get a chance to go to some of the places my students are from. And one of the things I really love most is uh, how much I can see them grow throughout the year. Um, and when students don't speak English at first and they, by the end of the, their school year, they're graduating and going to college, that's just an amazing level of growth. But having the opportunity to teach um, English learners is is challenging, but ultimately rewarding. So hi, I'm Miss Anslet. I've been teaching EL for quite a few years now, and it has been interesting. I definitely have learned a lot, but it also is not without its challenges. So I used to be an ENL student, so I understand their struggles. Um, I love working with them. Uh, one of the struggle is though I have uh, several level in one class, so it's kind of hard to balance out my higher um, achieving students versus my lower achieving students because I do have some students that do not speak English at all. And it's always going to be tough at the beginning. And I, like I said, I think the, the biggest thing uh, is that the educator needs to have patience and understanding that, you know, especially in this country, we all, not all of us, some people are indigenous, but most of us came from somewhere else. My name is Miss Stanley. I teach ENL 3 and 1, and I like teaching because um, I can learn about different cultures. <laughs> and also, um, I can do different things. I can sort of design my own curriculum as long as students are practicing, listening, speaking, reading, and writing. I personally love working with our ENL population at Southport. Um, it's one of the things that I love most about being at Southport. Um, I would say that I have learned a ton just about different cultures, different ways of life, and I've really enjoyed every second of working with um, our ENL population here. Hi guys, I'm here today to inform you about a scholarship offer happening. The Cooler Scholarship is a full four-year merit scholarship that may be used by recipients for undergraduate study at any accredited college or university in the United States. Any high school junior who plans to enroll in college in the fall of 2023 and is an American citizen or legal permanent residence is eligible to apply. There is a side note. Current high school seniors will not be able to compete. Winners may use the scholarship to pursue any academic major. Academic excellence is a primary criterion considered by the Coolidge Scholarship. The second criterion includes an interest in public policy and appreciation of the values President Coolidge championed. The competition for the Coolidge Scholarship is significant because only a few new Coolidge Scholarships are awarded each year from pool candidates that spans the entire country. 
The submission deadline is 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Wednesday, January 19, 2022. The scholarship application can be found on their website, www.coolidgescholars.org.